high level of difficulty for me right here. Um, so if you guys haven't known, I'm a geek, and I'm proud of it. And, and whoo, geeks, let's go. Um, so High School of Innovation in Advertising and Media. Um, rarely is innovation and triumph the sole goal of an individual, not an institution. For many, setting out to redefine the establishment is incredibly daunting. However, to change the establishment is even harder. But that's exactly what the High School of Innovation in Advertising and Media set out to do. The mission of this 9th to 12th grade high school is to provide academic and career competencies to students in advertising and media, making it the first of its kind, and it's in Brooklyn, New York, in Canarsie. In, I think it was founded in 2008. Um, and, its, and its sole goal is to encourage African Americans and Hispanics to enter the advertising and media fields. Can't tell you how necessary that is. The we, we, we all watch Mad Men. We all seen it. That's how it was. That's not how it's going to be. Uh, the school aims to shake up the old boys club dominated industry from the inside out. I just really wish, geez, I was in 1989, I would have been a freshman in high school. So in 1989, there was no school like this, and I just couldn't imagine how much of a, a, a marketing monster I would have been now because of an institution like this. Um, so what we're going to do is bring two of the students to talk to you today. Um, if you guys would come to the stage, um, Alesha and Relexis. I am the Alexis Castro. I am Alicia Taylor. And we are the students from the High School for Innovation in Advertising and Media. Our school was founded in 2008 due to a lack of minority representation in the advertising community. So, as a way to increase minority awareness about the innovative world of advertising and media, our school helps to, our school helps to match the diverse personalities of our students to the various positions in the industry. Throughout the many years of our school, a lot of our kids made uh, full and really comprehensive ad campaigns that presented to a lot of market leaders in the industry. Not just that, but alongside internships and mentorships, they, they're becoming certified in industry leading programs. I just want to take a moment of my time to say that uh, everything you see today, print work, commercial work, slideshows, was made, concepted, and edited by the students in the school with no money. So there was never like a cha-ching. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was all out of bank. Uh, originally, this was a standalone print ad for an advertising competition in the fall. But I just want to thank TEDx Harlem and the TED organization for allowing us to make this into a fully integrated campaign. So with that, let's talk about this. What you see in front of you, the print work, is a really obvious reference to we, a WE cover. The reason we chose this is because our target market, 13 to 18 year olds, with a concentration on 13 year olds, play video games. It takes up a lot of their time. The name is a reference to being Life Live, as a reference to Xbox Live and NBA Live. It ties in with the key visuals of Mario in the top right, Sonic in the bottom right, skateboarding and NBA Live. The reason this works is because kids aren't dumb. We didn't dumb it down for them. They get it virtual space in real life with immersion is them. They're living life live. And with that, we spearhead the mobile app. The mobile application portion of this integrated campaign is to ensure the activity and effectiveness of the campaign while still hitting the key points of the brief. The mobile app was designed using a point system, a method which would acknowledge and reward the children in our target market for doing good. You feel good when you do good. The same feeling you get when you get a high score on a test or when you get a high score on your favorite video game. We wanted to recreate that feeling and target it to something more important, being active, being moving. See, our target market thrives on trends and competition. So we wanted to make being healthy and active a trend and make it so that they can play against their friends and invite and invite friends, play against friends in order to attain a place in our local
This is the benefit of a zero dollar budget, by the way. <laughs> Always happens. <laughs> okay, so the system that we created of local leaderboards would help to increase competition among districts and cities. With an addictive system of reward, which rather than hampers the ego of a young team, will encourage them to lift themselves up and better themselves. We created something called a Life Live tournament in order to satisfy our target market's competitive instincts. The tournaments would take place at local parks where active users of the Life Live mobile app would can participate in games of two-on-two -two basketball, five-on-five -five soccer, cross-country racing, and skateboarding competitions. The same four activities indicated on the front end. Top performers in each category would be awarded prizes. The reason why this works is really simple and I don't have to take much time on it. It works because kids are going to be attached to their screens and we're still leaving them attached to their screens, but they're doing good for their bodies and for their emotions. They're with their friends, they're having fun, but they're being healthier. And the kids we don't get with the mobile app, we'll get with the commercial. Follow me. Do you spend your time having real fun? Hello? Follow me! Or are you stuck in a pretend world where fun is only imaginary? Hello? Follow me! Everyone, follow me! Why follow me on Twitter when you can follow me outside? Make sure to follow us at Play Streets outside in the back. Thank you. They better than some of the people in my company. You see that? They ready, as we say, they ready to go. You ready to go to school, finish up school. That's where you ready to go. Because then they come to me and they're like, I'm ready. I'm like, nah, they ready. 